Hey guys, in this video, we are going to see how we can use paginated data table in Flutter Web. Let's click on the option data table here. This is the data table which we have displayed. Uh, in the background, we are fetching a service which gives us a response and we model that response in these fields, ID, name, email, phone, website, and other details. Extended the functionality of this data table and we have a sorting capability. Let's sort by ID first. So as you can see, the IDs are already in ascending order, but let's sort in descending. So we just click on the ID and it gets descended as 10, 9, 8, etc. Next, we go to name. And as you can see, the names are also not in any order. So let's sort them. And as we click on name, it gets ascended order first, like C, E, G. And if we again click on this name, it should be in descending order with the C being last now. In the last, we have also sorted on the basis of email. So let's click on email. We can see the email fields being sorted in ascending order. And similarly on double clicking or again clicking, we see it in descending order. As you can see, the respective fields are also arranged. Like if I click by name or email or ID, so everything gets arranged in terms of what field we have choose. In some cases, we might need to refresh the data. So for that, we have this refresh button. And if we click on this, it basically again fetches the data from the service. So let's say I have arranged any field, let's say email, it's in ascending order. And now if I again click on refresh, it should revert the ascending order. So yeah, we can see that the data table is set back to the initial setup. Similarly, if I have sorted by name and I again refresh, it just distorts or it just sets back to the initial state. In some cases, you might want to hide special details or extra details and which you only want to show when a user clicks on some row or something. So for that, we have this other details. Let's say we want to click let, uh, ID 3. So we click on this and we see the extra details for this ID 3, name, city, etc. Uh, let's again, like, let's click on ID 5. Similarly, we see the details, for, extra details for this ID 5. At the bottom of this data table, we have this function called as rows per page. Uh, basically, it just wants us to show what are the amount of rows which we want to see first. For the service which I'm using, it gives me a data set of 10 results. So that's why I have no option of extending this. And, and if I just click on next page, it won't show me. That's it from this video, guys. The article or the source code is mentioned in the description below. And if you enjoy this video, please comment, subscribe. And thank you guys for watching.